Hi everybody, welcome you all by Pantech e-learning platform. A digital learning simplified with a happy e-learning. Now let's see the prototype of three-phase induction motor control with a load current waveform and input production circuit. Now let's see the basic block diagram for this prototype. Here there is a DSP controller, key control and a LCD display and a LCD display and a feedback from the motor that is the speed feedback is given as from the proximity sensor that is given to the DSP controller. Next the pulse generated from the DSP controller is given to the TLP250 driver and this TLP250 driver and the DSP controller are powered by 12 volt step down transformer and the output of TLP250 driver is given to the three phase inverter circuit. This three phase inverter circuit is powered by a single phase auto transformer. It is given to the protection unit and this protection and it is given to the rectification circuit as a full bridge rectifier with a filtering circuit and after that it is given to the three phase inverter circuit. The DC pure DC is given to the three phase inverter circuit. This inverter circuit is going to convert a DC voltage to a three phase AC and that output is given to the current sensing unit and from that sensing unit it is given to the motor three phase induction motor and from the current sensing unit we can able to measure the waveform by using a DSO or a CRO. When we are going to control the speed of the motor, proximity sensor senses the rotation of the motor and it is given as a feedback as a pulse to the DSP controller. From that, we can able to measure the speed by using the DSP controller. And next, here we are going to use the DSP 30F4011 controller. Here it is shown the pin diagram, that is the pin details about this DSP 30F4011 controller is shown over here. Here there are around 9 digital or ADC pins and uh, this controller is specially made for uh, motor control so there is uh, 6 PWMs we can able to generate 6 PWMs and we can able to use a complementary or independent output modes all the 6 PWMs have uh, 3 duty cycle generators individually and when we are going to use a complementary mode for this PWM generation we can able to apply a dead time so if we apply at that time there won't be any overlap in the pulses so this DSP 30F4011 controller we are going to use in this prototype to control the three phase induction motor and next in this we are going to use a TLP250 driver circuit this TLP250 uh, driver circuit is uh, necessary for the power circuit this pin diagram shows a TLP250 diagram this is like a isolation this access isolation here is the driver circuit diagram. This driver circuit is for the single leg. That is a single pulse will be converted to that is uh, the input of this driver circuit is going to be a 5 volt or a 3 volt pulses and that pulse is going to be isolated and it is going to be amplified and then it is given as a output in the output of the driver. This output we can able to connect it to the devices power devices and we can able to switch on and off of the power devices what we are going to use. Here this is the image of the TLP250 driver board. Here there are 6 legs that is each like uh, there is six pulses we can able to generate this driver board is specially for a three phase inverter circuit because i'll say in detail the next slide here the input of the pulse we are going to apply is a 5 volt dc there is a 5 volt or 3 volt pulses we can able to apply it and we can able to get the output of around 12 to 15 voltage amplified isolated pulses this we can able to give it to the mosfets or power devices what we are going to use in the circuits power circuit and here this is a TLP250 block diagram what I have shown in that uh, image. Here we are going to apply the PWMs that is pulses from the controller and here we are going to get the output from the TLP250 driver board and this we can able to apply it to the MOSFETs or power devices. And here there is a tabulation of uh, each and every terminations what we have used in the boards. There are 12, 12 volt AC we have to apply a 4 12 volt AC that will be rectified and uh, converted to DC and it will be powered up by uh, for the TLP250. Here S1, S3, S5 are individual isolated pulses. That is, these sources are not connected each other, but S2, S4, S6 are connected each other. So we can able to use this S2, S4 and S6 for the lower level of the lower leg of the inverter circuit. Here this, uh, in this we are going to use a three phase inverter circuit which is going to be fed by a DC voltage. That DC voltage we are going to convert it to a AC source. After that we are going to connect it to the load circuit. 
Here, this is the protection circuit what we have used in this prototype. This protection circuit has a reset reset switch that is 20 load or a overloader or short circuited in the reface inverter circuit. Then the trip has enabled and uh, it will be tripped off. The DC source DC voltage will be cut off from the inverter circuit. So after releasing the after reducing the DC input voltage, we can able to press the reset and we can able to reconnect with this inverter circuit with the DC voltage. Here we can able to see bridge rectifier and a filtering capacitor and a six MOSFETs. MOSFETs are six IGBTs. We can able to use it to form a three phase inverter circuit. Here the Q1, Q3, Q5 are top legs MOSFETs and Q2, Q4, Q6 or lower leg bottom legs so as i have said before in the tlp250 s2 s4 s6 are interconnected in the tlp250 driver so here you can able to see this is g and this is s so s2 s4 s6 are interconnected so we can use that those pulses over here and the s1 s3 s5 are individual it should not be interconnected so those three pulses are isolated and they are individually Terminator. So we can able to use the TLP250 driver board for the three phase inverter circuit or single phase inverter circuit for a bridge formation method. We can able to use the TLP250 driver board and after that it is connected to a three phase induction motor. And next the method of pulse generation. What we have used here is uh, the method used is SPWM method, sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique and the motor speed is going to be controlled by a V by F control method that is sign reference and a carrier triangular wave are compared and form a pulses these pulses are given to the mosfets or power devices and we can able to generate the three phase or single phase inverter circuit here we are going to use a three phase induction motor so here we will be comparing the three sine sine wave at 120 degree and we will be comparing the coding with the comparator and we will be generating the pulse by using a dsp 4011 controller Here's the pin configuration what we have used in this prototype. The pulses are arrived from 38, 37, 36, 35, 34 and 33rd pin. So these pins, these pulses are correspondingly connected to the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5 and Q6. The speed feedback is given to the controller at the 6th pin of the controller. And next the signal conditioning board. The signal conditioning board is used to check the current and voltage waveform of three phase AC system. This signal conditioning board can be used to measure the current and voltage. But here we have used in this prototype to measure the load current waveform. Here this image explains the circuit. This signal conditioning board is powered up by a uh, center tap transformer 12012 or 15050. Input from the inverter circuit is given over here and the output of this signal conditioning board is given to the load. And suppose we are going to measure a uh, voltage, we are going to use a step down transformer. Suppose we are going to use a uh, direct three phase AC uh, 50 years after filtering, we can able to use these transformers and we can able to measure the output voltage waveform over here. But here in this prototype, we are not going to use the voltage waveform, we are going to measure measure the current waveform, load waveform. Next, the hardware image. This is the full hardware image what we have used in this prototype. Here, this is the DSP 30411 controller with the programmer and a TLP250 driver board. And this is a protection circuit. This is a sensor, current sensor. We are going to measure the current. Based on that current limit only, we are going to trip this uh, main power circuit by using a relay and after that it will be fed to the rectifier and uh, filter circuit after that there is a fuse DC fuse and after this section it is going to be connected to the three phase inverter circuit here the three phase inverter circuit is formed by a semicron device and the output of this three phase inverter is connected to the signal conditioning board and after this it will be connected to the load that is a three phase induction motor what we are going what we have used in this prototype the axillary powers solo transform and 15015 toll load is uh, fed to the TLP250 driver board and uh, DSP controller and this 15015 is given to the protection circuit and it is also given to the current sensing board signal conditioning board next how to control motor there are two methods what we have used over in this there is a open loop control system and a closed loop control system. the open loop control system is nothing but we are going to vary the modulation index that is v by f we are going to vary the modulation index manually and we are going to vary the speed the speed depends upon the input voltage fed to the inverter circuit and the mi modulation index what we are going to apply it over here mi and frequency 
so this mi and frequency we are going to manually vary and the corresponding our motor speed is going to be controlled and next is the closed loop control in this closed loop control system we are going to get the feedback from the motor that is the speed feedback we are going to get from the motor by using the proximity sensor and and the modulation index and the frequency are going to be controlled automatically that is we are going to set the speed at the set speed the motor run in a closed loop manner suppose for example if you are going to set the motor speed should run at a 500 rpm so we will be setting at 500 rpm based upon that the pulse will be generated from the controller by using pi loop after that the pulses will be provided to the tlp 250 driver and after that it will be applied to the mosfets or igb or power devices three phase inverter circuit and correspondingly the output waveform will be generated output will be generated from the three phase inverter three phase ac that will be fed to the motor so corresponding the motor speed will be varied automatically so to do these functions we are going to use the help of lcd and the key function to control these methods for the key functions there are three keys this key is for the open loop or increment incrementing the mi or frequency mi and frequency will be simultaneously varied that is v by f method and decrement of mi or frequency we can able to use this second switch and if suppose we are going to select for the closed loop the second end switch can be used and here we'll be entering the kp and ki for the pa loop so after entering the kp and ki we can able to manually enter or using these two keys and after entering we'll be pressing the enter key so the pulses will be generated after that and here is the sample output waveform of the three phase inverter spwm method here you can able to see there will be many carrier pulses inside that is the uh, fundamental frequency is 50 hertz and the carrier frequency is 5 kilohertz so those carrier frequencies carrier pulses will be applied over here and this uh, fundamental frequency it will be a 50 hertz this is a sample image of a uh, inverter output waveform for a surface suppose we are going to connect it for a phase a with respect to neutral this pulse output waveform and next we are going to see a hardware working video here there will be a basic hardware working video in this for the full working video hardware in detail please check the description box below this is the controller microcontroller dsp3401 with the programmer section this is a tlp driver board just i'm switching on the power supply for this driver board controller protection circuit and for the current sensor here I have connected from the auto transformer to vary gradually from 0 to 230 volt yes. Now I am switching on the auto transformer. Now I am going to select the open loop section. Motor starts to rotate at minimum RPM. You can able to see the speed. Now I am increasing the MI. Simultaneously the motor speed varies. Now we can able to measure the current over this point. Connected for phase B. Now for the close loop, first reduce the input voltage. Reset by using this key. Now I am going to select by pressing the second key. I am pressing enter key value. Then K. Now the default RPM is set as 300. The motor starts to rotate at the set RPM. That is, this spot is a closed loop. So, whenever we set the set RPM, based on that, the actual speed will be maintained constant. Now, I am going to increase the set RPM, set speed. The motor will automatically settle down at the set speed. Now, I have set up for 1000 RPM, which is running at 1000 RPM. Likewise, the closed loop operation is done. We can able to set the speed up to 1400. running at 1400 RPM. If any fault occurs, that is if it is overloaded, this circuit will automatically trip it. If there is any fault occurs, this fuse will blow up, you can able to change it over there. With this working video of 3 phase induction motor control for open loop and closed loop operation is shown. And next there is a specification about this prototype dsp 3401 controller we have used tlp uh, for isolation and amplification we are going to use the tlp 250 driver board and for the protection there is an input protection 
for the AC and there is a fuse to production also and the power devices what we have used is IGBT semicron device SKM 75GB 063D and the signal conditioning board to measure the load current waveform and the power circuit working voltage what we are going to apply is a 50 volt AC to 200 volt AC by using a auto transformer we can able to vary and we can able to apply it and the power supply for the controller and driver unit is 12 volt AC and the load obviously we are going to use a three phase induction motor the main concept of prototype method for this prototype is going to be going to control the speed of the three phase induction motor by using open loop and closed loop method and so you can also customize this project as per your need that is the voltage or current rating can be demanded to us and we can able to get it Next, the DIY package, the do it yourself package. In this package, you can able to get a DSP controller with the programmer, the TLP250 driver board, input production circuit, PCB with components, IGBT semicron device with SKM 75GB063D with a, of three numbers. Here, you can also use any other power devices, MOSFETs, or IGBTs, for example, IRF 840, IRF 460, K40, T20120M. And the next is signal conditioning board and the proximity sensor, transformers, and two pin power card RMC wires to connect the terminals and the prototype coding. The coding will be provided with this DIY package and the guidance of a total time of 2 hours. You can able to get this package and you can able to get the guidance for the time of 2 hours. Needed you can also able to extend it. And next the testing equipment what is needed will not be included. It will be at separate cost. Multimeter, DSO or CRO, auto transformers and a three phase induction motor you can able to get it separately. This is the coding what we are going to use for this prototype. This program is going to be incorporated in the DSP 30F4011 controller and we are going to use to drive this three phase induction motor. And here is the wiring diagram for the whole prototype, auto transformer and then isolation transformer. From that it is fed to the protection circuit and from that protection circuit phase is connected to the rectifier with filter and, the, and then it is given to the three phase inverter and three phase inverter output is given to the current sensor as input and uh, from that output it is given to the load, three phase motor load and the proximity sensor in output is given to the DSP and the transformer unit. It is going to power up the protection circuit TLP250 and the current sensor unit and the pulse generator from the DSP30 4011 is given to the TLP250 driver and the isolated and amplified pulses are given to the power devices and finally we are going to control the three phase induction motor in open loop and closed loop method. We can also able to control a BLDC motor or SRM motor by using these components or these boards. Thank you. Thank you all. For more details please visit our website pantechelearning.com and you can also mail to us your queries through training at pantechmail.com and projects at pantechmail.com. For more details and updates, subscribe and get the information updated. Thank you. Thank you all once again. Bye.